get under, some, under something. What's his name? Mal. And when do you call him other things? And what do I call him? He says you call him other things too. Oh, Malbert. He, he Malbert. loves all his names. He just told me. I don't have one name, you know, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Darling, do you think when I start, you could either stay in or go out, oh, not sure. interrupt, because yes. it breaks off yes. my communication, because I'm not getting this live on a line. I'm getting it through the universe. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you come in, it's like me diving into the bottom of the pool again and coming up and having to go down again, because I have to tune in and really... And if you can keep as still as possible. I know it's difficult, <laughs> or if you want to sit down somewhere, but... Okay, so what he's telling me is that he has a lot of names. And which is the cat that annoys him? <laughs> he's telling me there's a cat around me that annoys me, he says. It would be Tripper. Okay, so Tripper says, don't talk to him, talk to me. So they're on the go now, darling. I've got them on my line. <laughs> he says, don't talk to him, talk to me. And he says, and I'm, Tipper's telling me I'm the most beautiful cat in the house. He says, I'm the most beautiful one. And which is the aggravating one? Uh, Tripper is the one who aggravates Yes, because he just said about aggravation. It's enough aggravation. And could I kindly ask him to stop it? He's just asked me. Can I don't I think he would Tripper say kindly. He would not say kindly. So let me talk to <laughs> Tripper. Let me just talk to Do Tripper. you want a photo of Tripper? Pardon? Yes, please, if you have one. I pick them up once I start, though, but it's always nice to see them. Oh, he says, I'm in charge, Tripper says. He says, I'm in charge. Don't tell me what to do, he just said. Yeah, let's see. Don't you tell me what to do, he's going, Tripper. <laughs> oh, God, he's beautiful. He's he is beautiful. And then I'll, uh, this is the uh, youngest one. Have you seen these, Anna? They're adorable. This one is telling me, what's the name of this one? Because you call them all so many different names. Skizix the cat. Hmm? Skizix the cat. Skivis. Skizix. S-K-E-E-Z-I-X. He says you call him something else, too. We call him Skizzy, Skizzers. That's what he wants. He doesn't want me calling him that fancy name he just told me. He wants the name that you use. Okay. So what is it? <laughs> Skeezers. Scooters. Skeezers. Uh, That's right, he says. That's better. Now we can communicate, he's just told me. <laughs> now we can communicate, he says. Now you start getting my name right. But we do have lots of other names. And um, they're telling me, these two, that they look after this one. That they, they look after that one? No, this one. And he says, I look after these. He's telling me, I. No, they don't. I look. So they have this lovely relationship between them. Sometimes it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. And which is the one that jumps on another one? Tripper jumps on Skizix. Because he says, would you tell him to be more polite? And I don't want him jumping on me all the time. So let me just ask him if he would possibly, we'd really appreciate it, if he wouldn't do that. I understand why he does it because we always acknowledge what good or bad behaviour, always, because they don't understand if you suddenly say to them, don't do it. So you always acknowledge whatever it is they do. So as I'm speaking to him, I'm telling him thank you so much for talking to me. He likes that. Thank you so much. And I'm going to tell him that as a family, I'm going to tell him that, you know, he's a very smart cat, and we'd really appreciate it, and you would too, if he didn't keep jumping on. The little one. He's 22 pounds and this one yeah, is six pounds. Does. And this one gets upset about it. So let me just acknowledge all of that. And I'm going to tell him that smart cats, and I know he's a very smart cat, but usually, you know, oh, I'm going to tell him as a rule it's only stupid cats that do that. So let me just tell him. And he's most into I'm, I'm going to t I'm going to tell him I know that, but I'm just telling him and informing him. But I'm not just doing this with words and telepathic communication. There's a lot more going on when I'm talking to them just than just in my head and telepathic communication. I'm getting pictures, feelings, emotions, senses, but I literally become the cat 
and I feel I'm a cat and I see the cat from this level and I feel that I'm jumping on him and I'm going to tell him now with my whole of my physical body because I use the whole of my physical body these are my front legs, these are my back legs, these are my hands and my paws so I feel that I'm leaping and I'm going to tell him it. and I'm also going to tell him it's not very good for him to leap like that he said he eats well he says, I eat well. I'm telling him, well, good. <laughs> and he likes his food. He said he eats a lot of dry food. He's changing the subject. Smart. He's very smart. He's very smart. I'm going to come back to the subject in a moment of the jumping. But he's telling me I eat well, you know. I've got nice dishes, he says. She gives me nice dishes, my mum. And who's the other person that's around him? Uh, my husband, uh, Jeff. Could he, uh, what's his name? Jeff. But he goes by Mr. Tasty Face, too. Okay. Actually, I think Tripper thinks of him as the Tripper Down Man. He says, um, he's okay. He's okay. I'm not mad about him, but he's okay, he says. He's okay. He says, I'm the most superior cat in this house. He says, I'm the most, I'm more important than anyone in this house, he's telling me. So let me acknowledge all that. And, um, but I'm going to tell him how kind he is. Now, how long have you had him? Because he said he's been with you for a while. Uh, Tripper is, um, he was a feral cat. Um, and pro it's probably been about Don't six... Don't tell me too much, because he'll go on and tell uh, me. Six years. Okay. Because he said he's been long with you longer than this one. Well, and they were about the same time. So he said, and he got in first. So what... <laughs> Is that right? He did not get in first. Let me tell him he didn't. He says he's always done it. He's always done this behavior, he says, with this other cat. It's not something that's new or he's just started. I've always done it, he's telling me. So I'm feeling now, and how I'm going to tell him is that I'm going to feeling that I, that I want to jump on this one, but I'm not going to allow all of my legs and arms, well, you, well remember, remember my legs and feet, and his legs and feet, so let me tell him. And what's the treat you give him that he likes so much? Hamburger. He loved it. He said, if you give him a bit more of that, he'll think about jumping on this one. He's bartering. He's smart. God. I tell him, so what can I tell him, darling? About jumping on... Well, if you give him the hamburger, the treat. If he... is more often. If he stops it, shall I tell him that you will give it to him more often? Yes, I will, if he stops uh, jumping, off, jumping on only him. if he does that. And we, we actually like him to play with Skizix. Yeah, I and, and yeah, he said chase. they play well. He said, and we play very well, but I jump and splatten her. Yep. So I'm going to tell him, if he could admit that part, we'd really appreciate it. And how kind he is to play like he does. He said she rolls over. She rolled over, he said. She's very pretty. He's telling me she's pretty. It's a he. He's pretty. <laughs> I don't know if they're he's or she is. So let me tell him they he. What's a he? I tell him to think of humans. And which one scratches a bit? Scratch. Or did scratch a bit? Um... He's the one who tends to scratch people. Okay, because he's telling me, one of them saying, I scratch a bit, you know. So let me tell him, he said, and what is it he does with the scratching? He said the other two don't do that. Right. So what is it he does with people? Um, he gets, well, because he's feral, or he used to be feral. Yes, of course, I understand. He'll, so uh, him, you know, yeah, scratch and yes, bite sometimes. Yes. He says, not hard. Not hard, <laughs> he goes. <laughs> Uh, and he's got a lovely sense of humour. And it's like he doesn't want these two to talk. He wants to do all the talk. Oh, yeah. Because he just said to me, you don't need to talk to them. I'll tell you anything he's got. So let me acknowledge that and say, well, I'd really appreciate it. But if he'd allow me to talk to the other two, I'd appreciate that. We'll give him more hamburger. Uh, if he <laughs> so I tell him, and also, if he doesn't jump quite so much on the little one, we would, it would really make everyone happy. And as I tell him again, only stupid cats jump on them. Well, he's not taking it so hard this time. And where are you thinking of going? Well, I'll be going home on Sunday. Okay, so let me tell him you'll be going back. He knows that. 
He's like, oh, don't tell me I know that, but you're thinking of going somewhere else after then. So where is it else you've been thinking about going? Well, I've been thinking about going to Barkworld, but I have to get a sponsor to do that. So. Okay, so I'll tell him, at the moment it's not definite, but if it is, you will tell him. He says, and how long do you think you'll be away if you go? Probably three days. Okay, well, that's not long. He says you've done that many times before, so I tell him, well, that's just part of it. He wants to know why you have to keep going away, so I'm going to tell him, gosh, he's... I'm going to tell him we have to do something called work, which brings money in for us to pay for his food and his lovely home and his beautiful beds and keep him warm or cool, let me tell him. And that's why his mum has to go away at times. He says you like what you do. Mm -hmm. He says she likes it a lot, you know. She's good at it, he's telling me. He's not going to let the other two talk. I know all about it. So let me just thank you. And where's the beige carpet? The beige carpet is uh, throughout most of the house. He loves the beige carpet. He likes that. He approves of that. And when did you do something different in the kitchen? Move something or? Um, I don't think we What really... was on the floor? Did you move a dish or a mat? I'm trying to think. And when did he have a mat under his dish or something under his dish? Well, there was a mat um, under the dish upstairs, but not under the dish downstairs. Okay. So, have you moved that at all? Or move one out and put another one in? Um, we've changed bowls periodically. Ah, that's, okay. Okay, because you move something or change something, and he wasn't too happy about that. Oh. He's very, like, he likes things to stay the same. He doesn't like things being moved around. So let me tell him, he said you're always very careful with his bowls, but he wants a mat underneath downstairs. Okay. Under all the bowls, not just under one bowl, because he said it's a pretty mat you put under there. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, he says. He likes it. So could you put one under downstairs? So shall I tell him you will? Yes. Okay. Will it have paw prints on? Yes. Because that's what he likes. He says, so, <laughs> print. so I get a picture of paw prints from him. So let me just acknowledge that. Well, thank you, thank you. And when will you get it? Will you bring one back? So what can <laughs> he's, he's adorable. He's adorable. They all are. This one is asking why it's so nervous, so I'm going to tell it. He it says it's nervous. And the other two aren't nervous the same way as this one is, as he is. So let me tell him that all cats have a network of nerves under the skin and that some are more to the surface and some are more embedded in. And he's very special and many cats are this way. He's not the only one, but he happens to live with two cats that that isn't, so I'm gonna tell him. He wonders why, so now I can tell him. He said he goes under something. Was it your bed or where is it he goes under sometimes? Um, there are a couple of places where he sort of hides away. One is in um, my office. There's a thing that's under the skylight that he likes to spend the day he loves under. It. He loves to go under there. It makes him feel very safe. And he said he loves that. It's, one of his, it's his place, he's telling me. It's not the other cat's place. It's my place. And my mother adores me as well as the other one, he just said, and the other one. I'm going to tell him you love them all as much in different ways. And he likes it best when your hair's down, so don't put it in any other style. He likes it when it hangs down. So I tell him, mm -hmm. I tell him sometimes we like to change it. And he loves it because you talk to him face to face and not always from across the room, or you actually talk to him face mm -hmm. to face, he says. And the cats love that. And he says you give him the whole attention and you make noises with your mouth. And he <laughs> loves that. He watches your mouth move. He says, and you go... And he loves you. And he says, will you be getting any more cats? <laughs> not until he's gone. Okay, let me tell him that. Well, that's not going to be for a long time, he says. Uh, probably that's true. He says, that's not going to be for a long time. Mm. I'm hanging out here forever. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of love, darling, and you've got great cats, and you're a great cat, man.
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.